surprise from your last game in McLean? Uh, any emotions about that yet? Or uh... Uh, yeah, so a lot of emotion. Just um, it's going to be a lot of memories here that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, and uh, just the teammates that I've had throughout the times. And uh, this year has been amazing. So uh, being able to, to to spend it with the guys and uh, work hard this week to prepare for the game uh, is going to mean everything. Yes, sir. For you, what has the past two or three days been like in terms of response from Saturday night? Um, just recognizing um, how great of an opportunity it is um, to go through adversity and uh, to show how we can overcome and um, come out on the better end, which is um, putting the work in this week and showing the, pretty much everybody what we're really about and what this team is really about. So uh, it's pretty exciting to do it with these, this group of guys. And um, I'm looking forward to, to Saturday morning. Uh, we're going to face a talented team, but it should be a test for us to um, just to dig in deep and, and play freely and play, play, play for each other as brothers. Think about that opportunity. How much at all do you guys acknowledge the idea of we can do to them what they did to us last year and kind of knock them out of the playoffs until they did it to you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so one thing we want to respect our opponents. So uh, you know that TCU is a great, great program this year, and uh, they've definitely put the work in. So uh, for us, like I said, it's, it's a test, and um, I think that from what we've been through, I think that's all built up to this moment, to where we can go out there and what better chance to face this opponent, the team that, that we had last year, and uh, go out there and show them and give them our best. Is it more about that to you in that situation than the rivalry this year, or do you still focus on the fact that this, you know, this is a rivalry for fans? Yeah, it's a rivalry, but for um, our team, it's a test because we, we went through it and we know where we're at now. So um, for us, it's just about showing and displaying what uh, we're truly about, which, you know, we've had a lot of adversity this year. And, um, you know, that, that part of us figuring out who we are, we've missed out on. So um, it's important that we just really show and, um, and play to our standard and um, show show them what Baylor football is really about. For as dynamic as they are through the air, how do you go about defending them knowing that if you commit to the pass, then that just opens it up for Kendra Miller to run it? Yeah, so uh, they, they've they hit on, on a lot of areas, especially for the for the pass game. Um, but for us, it's pretty much just uh, we, want to, we want to win the turnover battle. Uh, we want to stop the run. We want to show what our run's about and uh, get that started. Um, for us, it's about executing all ends. So uh, it's important that our defensive back and our backfield and our coverage is, is on an elite level for my preparation this week. Um, up front, we got, we got the guys to, to stop the run. So it's about us playing our technique and just being intentional and having intentional, intentional focus on doing our assignment right each play. What do you see from Max Duggan, the QB? Yeah, so um, I've had a chance to play him pretty much every year that I was here. So he's very talented and he was a stout runner early in his career, and now he's definitely developing to a passer. And, um, so you can see his game starting to come together, and now he's more comfortable on the field. But uh, um, he's very talented. He's, uh, he's, he's more calm than he is now, than he was before. So uh, for us, we're going to have to be really keen on just uh, putting pressure in his face and um, kind of stopping those passes that are probably easy to make, just stopping those and having our DBs uh, stop the deep ball because of the receivers that they have. And, the advantages that they have on that end. So uh, just getting pressure in his face and slowing his and speeding his game up process up. Uh, are they, uh, you know, uh, Pace Davis more of a ball control team. TCU has a whole bunch of explosive plays. Uh, mm -hmm. Are they quite a bit different preparing for? Uh, yes, a, a little bit different. Um, K-State definitely slowed the game down. So uh, for us, it's, it's, it's really about working back up to tempo, the tempo style and uh, being able to uh, to stop both run and pass. Um, I think last year, you know, one of our focus, not last year, last uh, last week, our focus was stopping 22 and uh, figuring out how to how to tackle him in the pocket and in the box. So this week you got the explosive running backs and you got the explosive receivers. So, and they have a really good, talented old line. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta hit all phases to make sure we can uh, stop one end and stop the other end at the same time. So you don't want to stop one end and then open up the other end. Yeah. What stands out to you on film from Quentin Johnson? Yeah, uh, just talented guy, um, plays hard, fast, physical. So uh, just being able to to uh, stop him up front is going to be our is going to be our ordeal and our focus. Yeah. Bryson, since that's been y'all's mo, stopping the run, 
mention it to, about this week too. Was that the frustrating part of this last game, just that y'all couldn't get off the field and couldn't stop the run? Yeah, it was a, a lot of little small intentional things that we missed out on. <laughs> so um, just um, being intentional, intentional with with uh, playing our gaps. <laughs> yeah, so just playing our gap, having gap control, and uh, being able to be physical up front. And uh, last week was was more of a challenge for us because you got to have your eyes in the right place and your feet got to be there. So um, this week, you know, we, we got to learn from last week and have our eyes in the right place and be more patient. Right, so I guess to piggyback off that, you've mentioned in the past, you all take it personal and you give up 80 or more rushing yards. How yeah. much motivation does that give you all to stop the running against CCU? Yes, yeah. So this that that like I said before, it's just how great of an opportunity. Um, last week was was one of our very uh, disappointing um, um, experiences, but um, for us, it's learning from that. And I think that you know our guys in the room have learned and took that personal because we want to be known. We've we've been known for our physicality up front on both ends. So um, having that happen last last week was just a was just a, a eye opener for us to pretty much focus on getting our eyes in the right spot. Playing, uh, playing our keys and being intentional on our assignment football. How, how do you separate the emotions of this game before we've talked about the 15th senior day from the you know, yeah. needing to, to get a win? Yeah, uh, for us, I just think about our coaches' families and, and how much investment we've went into this year um, with the players and offseason. So it's all that up to this moment. What, what, um, what better opportunity is, is, is to play for the guys? Because those are the most important things coming from this game. Um, is being able that we go out there and, and bring a performance that is is top tier, and um, and that's and that's my focus this week is to bring everything I have throughout the week, so that they, so that each each player can get better, and um, and take that over to the next week and the next week and the next week and so on. Is there a senior that's most likely to cry? You think? Uh, I might cry, but I don't know if they're gonna see it. So, yeah, I think we got some tough guys. They probably won't cry, but uh, for me, it's definitely an emotional experience.